Hi, I'm Yoram Solomon, and just like you, I'm spending a lot of my time now doing Zoom calls. And in Zoom calls, you realize that sometimes the quality is not that great. And the reason is because Zoom is a live program and it uses a lot of bandwidth, especially video uses a lot of bandwidth. And if it's within the same network, that's one thing, but typically Zoom calls are across a very long distance and they have to go a pretty long way to get to the other side. And so you suffer from with the resolution. The resolution is not as high. Actually, Zoom does not even record locally at the utmost resolution uh, that you can. Uh, you have high compression ratio that shows as artifacts within the image. Uh, you have breakups and sometimes the image freezes. And that's okay if you use it live because really there are not a lot of alternatives. I mean, there's Skype and there's Hangouts and, and other things, but they're similar. They suffer from the same thing. They have to go through bandwidth, internet bandwidth, and this is what hurts the quality. But if you're going to be using it later, so for example, if you record an interview, that quality might not be good enough. And especially keep in mind that this thing will blow over and eventually we're gonna go back to face-to-face -to -face meetings. Those videos of yours, you wanna keep them and you wanna keep them over a long time. And at that time, all of a sudden, it's just not gonna look that good. So I did a little experiment yesterday. I had an idea and I experimented something. I did a Zoom call. And what I'm gonna show you here is a teaser of what this looked like. Uh, all I used in that experiment is a $500 laptop, a six, $60 camera. Actually, the camera I'm using right now is a DSLR, but that's the low entry-level DSLR at less than $400, including the lens. So uh, equipment is pretty cheap. The microphone, you do need a good microphone. $150 microphone is what I'm using. Uh, and, and I'll share the, the list of equipment in, in the video that I'll do in the next uh, day or two with a full explanation. Uh, you do need great audio. The problem is sometimes even the great audio that you can capture with that microphone that's in front of me now is wasted on a poor internet connection. And, and what you get is something that sounds like a phone call. I have a green screen behind me. The other person on the other side of that uh, call yesterday uh, had a green screen. Uh, we had lights, very cheap LED lights. You don't even have to have LED lights. So we're talking a few tens of dollars, nothing more than that. Uh, I'm using Premiere Pro for editing. Uh, pretty much any editing software would be used uh, is, is good enough. Uh, and there are no other costs. Uh, everything else is free and, and I'm going to share all of this with you. Now, as I said, this is a teaser because it's going to take me a while to record the whole thing, show you screenshots so that you will know how to set everything up. Uh, but you know what? Uh, give me some love, you know, like this video and let me know that you want to see the, the full thing uh, because I'm going to probably be spending the next two days recording and editing so I can show you exactly how I'm doing it. For now, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you what the quality of a local Zoom recording and a remote Zoom recording looks like. You know, when you interview someone and you record it, into your computer, your own computer, what that quality looks like, and then what is the quality with how I'm gonna show you to do that, which is recording the video and audio locally in both computers, sending them. I'm kind of giving you the, the high level of it, but I really wanna show you the details because the details uh, really matter. Uh, and then you're gonna see what it can look like. And, and we're gonna bring that Zoom call to a quality that you can post and be happy with even when using Zoom is not going to be something that we do every day and to deliver our webinars and workshops and everything. So stick with me, but let me know that this is something that you find interesting. Here is the example. Here are the examples, the experiment that I did yesterday with my older daughter, Maya. Maya, tell me about the driving to Denton. Well, since I've been driving for several years now, driving doesn't scare me anymore. So I, I really like the drive to Denton. Maya, tell me about the driving to Denton. Well, since I've been driving for several years now, driving doesn't scare me anymore. So I, I really like the drive to Denton. Maya, tell me about the driving to Denton. Maya, tell me about the driving to Denton. Maya, tell me about the driving to Denton. Well, since I've been driving for several years now, driving doesn't scare me anymore. So I, I really like the drive to Denton. Maya, tell me about the driving to Denton. 
Well, since I've been driving for several years now, driving doesn't scare me anymore. So I, I really like the drive to Denton. Maya, tell me about the driving to Denton. Well, since I've been driving for several years now, driving doesn't scare me anymore. So I, I really like the drive to Denton.